afternoon. This is my daily summary of the Iraqi dinar, where it's the fastest summary on the net. If you're new to me, my name is Melanie Hines. My background is I was an auditor with Price Waterhouse, and in Iraq right now, there's three different sets of auditors as a minimum. Ernst and Young. I used to work for Price Waterhouse Coopers, which is now Price Waterhouse Coopers. It was Price Waterhouse when I worked there. I was on the partner track, um, but I had to leave due to the untimely uh, death of my both my parents. They dropped dead of heart attacks three months apart when I was 20, only 28. That was 30 years ago, though. I just turned 59, and I've gotten over it. I'll never be over it, but you know what I mean? I've been used to being an orphan, and that's when Jesus Christ showed up in my Jeep, and he gave me a prophetic gift. He gave me a double dose of faith, and he led me to the dinar and also told me to tell you it was done. A little over two years ago, he prophetically spoke through one of my YouTube lives that he called me this platform in 2019, so I hope you will subscribe and tap the bell because it really is a blessing, and he is leading me to help people through the wealth transfer. I provide safe exchange steps. If you don't know how to exchange, if you don't know how you're going to be notified, all you got to do is subscribe, tap the bell. I'll notify you. I'll go live and say the time is now. I'm going live tonight at five. If you want to be notified, please subscribe and tap the bell. We're going to have a cocktail. We're going to talk about it. 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do this a couple nights a week when my husband works and uh, he works a lot. He's got union meetings. He's a professional firefighter, EMT, and he also has a second job at L.L. Bean. So I vary my secondary live streams, but tonight it's at five Eastern time. I'm in Maine. Join us. It's been a dreary day here. It'll be a lot more fun to have a cocktail with friends. And the Cardinal is on the feeder yet again today. This one that's the female cardinal. She was on earlier. I did a short about that. That is my sign that it's not a scam. So don't listen to anybody who tells you this is a scam. And anybody that paid me for my three steps to a safe exchange, Wolf of Woohoo sent me a payment yesterday at 8.48 p.m. Dude, I don't have your email or female wolf. If it's a female wolf, I don't have your email. I don't care what your gender is. Just send me an email at happy 77 yahoo at yahoo.com. The letter I, A-M, like I am, like Jesus said to me in my Jeep happy 77 at yahoo.com. You have to send me an email so I know where to send your strategies because I got your payment, but I don't know who you are, right? I don't know what your email is. And so, um, and then there's somebody else that said, I paid you, but yeah, you did, but I can't find your payment. So you need to make sure if you paid me, stipulate within the email how you paid me and what the name on the payee is. Like if it's Wolf of Woohoo, I need to know that because it's not a typical name, right? So just that's a little, little housekeeping. And yeah, I've got a lot of trolls. Marta, thank you for your message. But listen, we talk about the summary of Iraqi dinar and how hot this is right now. Uh, why? Because Sudani, of course, was at the UN in their mid-year meeting of their 2030 plan and how sadly, you know, all the people get together, all the people that are running the world get together and talk about their 2030 plan. And they're on track or they think they are, but I think they're losing their shirts. But, you know, they never tell you that because they want to keep you in fear and panic as if they're in control and they're not. But this is most important out of all the information I got this morning, which I did a detailed live stream. The timestamps are up and I give you my perspective mixed in with all the intel from my private intel source over there. And it's really good. You should go check it out. You should you should listen sometime to one of my live streams. A lot comes through me on this. But for the so purposes of this summary today, I'm going to give you uh, out of the prime minister's mouth himself just 22 hours ago, Miracle Signs and Wonders is 222. It's in this still, it's 256, and I'm, it's 22 hours ago. This is what the prime minister said from his media office on his Facebook page. It says, Prime Minister Mohammed Shial al-Sadani, our government has worked tirelessly to shield Iraq from the consequences of this escalation, and we have succeeded in doing so in collaboration with our international partners. We need to intensify our efforts to halt the targeting of civilians and save the region from the perils of a war that spares no one. In such a conflict, there would be no winners, only destruction and devastation. We reaffirm that Iraq will continue its efforts and coordinate with its friends and partners to de-escalate late tensions and prevent the expansion of a conflict that threatens the security of the region and the world. I love his statement. He is stepping up to the plate. He's also coordinating with our all his international partners, of which the U.S. is just one of them. There was another article here. Everything was going great when they were at the U.N. back at the end of September, where he said, what, at the end of this article... It was the article, due to U.S. support, Iraq's non-oil GDP goes tri... Due to U.S. support, Iraq's non-oil GDP grows twice as fast as the population. 
Okay. He also, it said he met with the Secretary, the Secretary of Treasury, Wally Aliyama, on the sidelines of the United Nations to discuss reforming the Iraqi banking sector, financial relations with the United States, and combating illicit financing. Guys, this all boils down to their digital systems, the new financing, the new monetary system, the quantum financial system that we've heard so much about here on the right side of the aisle. Uh, I don't know what the left is hearing because I'm not over there, but it says a demo congratulated the Sudanese prime minister on the significant progress made by Iraq in reforming the banking sector, which has expanded Iraq's international financial connectivity and increased financial inclusion, praising the growth of Iraq's non-oil economy by 6%. That was just on September 26th. Now, fast forward to today. The war has gotten even messier, which God prepared me for that with the word he, where he said, don't worry about what the banks are doing. It's going to be messy. Take the money and run. That's where my three steps come in. It, it takes into account God's words to me to share with you and this whole community. So please subscribe and tap the bell if you've just now seen me. Okay. The rest of the summary. Now, this is the other side of the picture, which is everybody else. I have my own unique source and I have what God tells me that it's done and how to prepare you with three separate steps. Set three safe steps to how to exchange, basically. Um, now, here is the other people. Militiaman, love Militiaman. He says, a new financial system that is fast and effect digitally. Hopefully, they're talking about they're going to have an exchange rate to do that. A real effective exchange rate gets them across borders. For he From here on out, a different playing field, a digital playing field. I think that's where we are. I think it's really powerful information. I agree. I've been saying that for a while now. Claire, article, Al Sudani sends a message to the U.S. president. That's today. We're on the verge of a dangerous slide. Quote, Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammed Shial Al Sudani said in a letter addressed to the U.S. president, Joe Biden, in the European Union countries on Sunday that the region is on the verge of a dangerous slide that could drag it all into the world and ongoing wars. Who's the statesman here? Al Sudani. I'd give him two thumbs up. I'd give him 10 stars. I would give the guy who sits on the beach while other people are drowning. Um, I'd give him, um, I'm not making any judgments, right? Um, God's job is to judge. My job is to love. So I love my nation. I love, but we're going through some, obviously some problems here and it's going to be a crazy next 29 days. Uh, Frank 26, television is talking about what will happen once the currency auctions are stopped. They're talking about Iraq has a process to develop the infrastructure. This will protect us and give us more security and stability to our currency through the CBI. Frank said, this is all part of the monetary reform education to you. When they stop all those auctions, it will completely freeze Iran from stealing with, and the corruption and will open the door wide for a new exchange rate in your lower notes. I agree. I think that's why in this country they're kind of slow rolling all the regulations with regard to crypto because they're still doing their money thing their money thing their dollar thing um probably sending over pallets of it i'm just saying um but when the new system comes down that's going to change everything so they're trying to get it all done now that's why you see 37 trillion in debt uh they're just spending 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 because they know it's going to go out anyway and it's going to be replaced with the new system so it's like it's like you know you're going to declare bankruptcy and you you run up your credit cards right before you do because you know you're getting a pass people do that and so is the other people doing that. You know, if you know what I mean, just say, I know what you mean. Comment down below. Keep the channel safe is all I can say. Um, cause you know, I don't trust this, you know, I got to keep it safe cause I'm the faith and financial person. I usually don't comment on politics, but when it's this clear based on a good leader versus an inept leader, you know, you can't help but make the comparison. Amen. If you agree, comment, amen. Um, Frank 26, we love him. It said, television is talking about what will happen once currency auctions are stopped. They're talking about Iraq has a process to develop the infrastructure. This will protect us, the Iraqi citizens, and give more security and stability to our currency through the Central Bank of Iraq. Frank, this is all part of the monetary reform education to the citizens and to us. Um, when they stop those auctions, it will completely freeze Iran from stealing and the corruption and will open the door wide for a new exchange rate and the lower notes to be released. I agree, Frank. Thank you so much for always participating and for being just such a great man of faith and great YouTuber. Uh, Mark Z, Al Rafidian, more than 4 trillion dinars, electronic collection amounts for government departments. This is a market improvement to the government, a big increase in revenue from getting rid of graft and inefficiency by using electronic systems. Exactly. Now we're rolling with that. And Mark, I love it. I love your son Zester too and his work on the crypto space. It's all going digital, baby. I believe it. 
I believe it. And Iraq is the first person to do it, the first country to do it. And it's a great like way to test the new digital fancy, fancy systems. Iraq is their guinea pig. And and it's it's working out well. But I know they have to run in parallel before they release it all and release a new rate into it, especially. So, of course, Mark's last comment was, this has made a massive difference in Iraq. I agree. I agree. And guys, you heard it before in my last article. There, The U.S. Treasury is impressed with their non-oil revenue getting up to 6%. It continues to increase. And you've heard it all before about the digital systems and how Iraq is, is stable and secure now, and they're opening up to the world. So they need a revalued currency to do that. So guys, I'm excited that you're here. Please tap the bell. Show me that you like this summary. Please give me some positive feedback. It's been a very dreary day. Hard to get through this day. And again, I'll see you all live. If you want to be live at five, I will answer any questions. If you have questions about the rate, if you have questions about the lot, if you have questions about anything you want to subscribe, tap the bell because you'll be notified about an hour before I go live. Again, live at five with cocktail margaritas and we'll talk about how do you manifest your prayer so we can finally put this thing to bed and bring it in. Amen. Then we can invest in other things like cryptos. I was listening to cryptos today. Uh, it's fun, right? I look forward to helping you invest your money and double it. But right now this is all entertainment. I love you. Bye.